Um, and I think what makes a good friend is not talking behind them, not mouth. necessarily arguing with anybody. Being polite, a person who is kind and sweet. Not turning people down, like, not letting them down. Listening to a kid. Um, someone who's funny, someone who's nice. If someone's really nice and they're loyal and they don't talk behind your back. For them to be funny and nice and not selfish. When I grow up, I want to be a climatologist. Be a dentist. Be in the army. Be a veterinarian. Be a singer. Be a baseball player. Be a tattoo artist. Be a poet. Be a scientist. Um, I'm gonna be a cop when I grow up. My favorite word is supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Super. Anticlimactic. Love. Give it that fun. Get it. Fun. Uh, my favorite word is uh. <laughs>
3.4 billion people are at risk of getting malaria all over the world. What are the symptoms of malaria? Symptoms are high fever, chills, headaches, anemia, vomiting, nausea. Hmm. Is, it, is it contagious? It's not contagious f through humans. It's only contagious through mosquitoes. What's some history on malaria? Malaria has been around for thousands of years. In 1912 in Panama, people would spray pools of water with kerosene to kill the mosquitoes. Now we use bed nets and indoor, and indoor spraying. Is there any chance we could get it here in Dorset? No, but due to climate change, there has been many isolated in malaria, isolated malaria deaths all in America. 4,000 people have died in the USA of malaria. Wow, that's concerning. Yep. Well, that's all the time we have on the show today. I will see you next time on The Rams Report. Cut. That's a wrap. Some help over here. Well, I think. <laughs> Welcome to this. We are going to be showing you our. Well, we should. Brendan? Here we are at Sunderland Elementary School. Written with my friend, Brandon. No, no, we have, we're having technical difficulties because this okay. is now we're ready. Okay. okay. My name is Sarah, and this is Beck Davis. Hi, and we're reporting from Sunderland Elementary School. And the question of the day is, what is a turtle cam? A turtle cam is a perspective of what a turtle sees every day. How we make the turtle cam is we put the camera inside this bag and then we cut a hole in the front, which is right here. And the camera is inside. Um, and we don't want the camera to be damaged, so we put foam to protect it. And another thing is, it's not just in the bag, it's also in a cardboard box that has the hole in it too. And so that's basically how you make a turtle cam. Guys, it's a turtle! Let's go see it! Cool! Come on. Wait, we need to go behind him! Hey, maybe, maybe he wants some food. Let me go get some food for him, okay? What are you guys doing with that turtle? I'm putting him away. Hey, I'm away. the principal here. We're putting him. You tell me what you're doing with this poor little turtle. We're putting, We're putting him away, away with his mom. My favorite part of this after school program um, was that I got to use cameras. I liked using cameras because um, it's fun and interesting. My dream job is to be blacksmith. Hello, my name is Lauren, and my dream job is to be an astronaut. My dream job is to be an inventor to 
invent the technology of the future. My favorite part of this club is, well, just learning about the cameras and how people use them. And I've, I also always wanted just to learn how to use cameras like these and how to get good shots and prevent bad things. So that's pretty much it. I'm Rebecca Sherman. I'm a first grade teacher at Manchester Elementary Middle School. And today you're going to see a performance of Kevin Hinkes' classic book, Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum? What kind of name is that? <laughs> it's so long. It doesn't even get on your name tag. My name is too long. It doesn't even fit on my name tag. And I'm named for flowers. Well, I really enjoy working with kids at, um, at such a young age because um, while they're still young, they can learn how to treat each other and what kind of citizens they need to be and to, to grow up to be um, kind and helpful and caring. Uh, the kids really enjoy the story. They can relate to the characters in the book, but they do pick up on the message that Chrysanthemum is feeling badly, that she's being made fun of, and I think it's nice that the teacher role in the book is someone that she can relate to. I can hardly believe it. Miss Twinkle's named for a flower, too, just like me. I don't think my name is absolutely perfect. I know it is. And welcome to an episode of Conversations with Cranes. We're your hosts, Montgomery Crane and Frankie Crane. Let's get right to the questions, Frankie. Okay. My best friend won't talk to me. What should I do? Hmm. This one's a good one. This is a really good one for, like, guidance for stuff. Well, if my best friend weren't talking to me, he... He, I would go up and say, why aren't you talking to me? I, if I did something, I'm so sorry. I just, want you, I just want you to talk to me again. You're my best friend. And if that doesn't work, go to your her local guidance counselor. What should I do if some, wait, what should I do dash someone is trying to bully me? Wait, let me Well, just do what I, I do. Just ignore them and... Just ignore, ignore them. them. They have no power over you, all right? He, p kids out there, they don't have any power over you. They're ju uh, just people who are jealous who, of you. Who are jealous of other people who don't have, have good lives. Why does the Earth rotate in a direction that it does? Two things. First, I don't really know that really. Mm -hmm. I think it's because of something about how gravity. And gravity, he, the gravitational force that makes it going around and around. So the, it actually, he, you know how, how the Earth is split in half? When it's daytime on, on this side, the sky is light. He, but if it's, not, if, the, if it's not day on this side, it's going to be nighttime like in China. So the Earth has to rotate so it's not... Uh, so it's when we have night, China has day. So it's the gravitational force. 
Frankie, you get the last one. My brother always talks when I'm trying to talk. What should I do? Well, same thing around us. Just, just switch it away. Yes, exactly, Frankie, who just interrupted me. That was a very good example. When he he interrupts you, say, excuse me, I was talking, dear brother, and then go on with your sentence. And then if it, he goes on again, interrupt him in the middle of his sentence. That will teach you who older brother, older and younger brothers and sisters of all, the, all over the world. The last one of the day. Please don't be geography. I never take that stuff. Do birds sleep? Well, yes, they do sleep. Because they need their energy from where they have to, huh? If they're mothers, then they have to go out and get food, or they have to stay on the nest and guard the eggs. But, anyway, birds do sleep. Thank you for joining us on this wonderful segment of Conversations with Cranes. See you next time. Bye! Bye. my sixth year. We have to stay within the guidelines of the, the national school lunch program. So the kids have to have certain ingredients every day um, and certain portion sizes every day. So uh, everything has to be whole grain now. So 100% whole grain. So even our pastas and uh, breads, all whole grains. Um, Protein, they have to have at least two ounces of protein a day for lunch. Um, at least a half a cup of fruit, at least a half a cup of vegetable. <clears throat> Sodium's lower, which I don't think that necessarily affects the kids quite so much as the whole grains do. A yeah. um, lot less fat. Um, so uh, we eliminated uh, bacon from our sandwich menu. You know, stuff kind of that kind of thing. So Hello. They're, they're getting better. They still ask for bacon though. <laughs> I use some of uh, the state of Vermont has a cookbook. I use some of their cookbooks. Um, fortunately, I was a chef in, in a previous life, so before here, so I do can create my own recipes. Our season, our growing season is primarily summertime, you know, so what we can really get mostly is fall vegetables or root vegetables, you know, so um, and apples. Because the, the bulk of the, the growing season, we're actually not even in school. It's now a law that we have to recycle, basically. So, um, and we've been doing it for quite a while now. We've been doing composting for at least four years, if not five. Um, kids are really good at it. You know, they, um, it takes them a week or two to get into it every year, but uh, once they are, they're really good. They love to see the soil that you know gets it gets made with um and yeah it's it's good for us it's good for us all save the environment my favorite part about the whole job is the kids <laughs> it's really it's really good it's 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 rewarding Cater tots with um my own sauce that i make ketchup mayonnaise and relish nice salad it's pretty much right here Chicken soup, mashed potatoes, beans, bread. Yeah, all that looks delicious. Some kids um, need it more than others, you know, and so it's it's really rewarding to see that they're eating healthy, you know, and just I love it that you know they feel like they know me well enough that they can come and request something, you know, like their favorite soups. We make two different soups um, offered every day. You know, we do what we call Fearless Friday, and we'll make a new dish, and we'll just put out samples of that dish and let everybody try it. We make a big deal out of it. You know, we give them stickers, we high-five them, you know, and, um, and I think most importantly, we ask for their opinion. Do you like it? You know, do you like what it looks like? Do you like the smell? Do you like the taste? You know, so that way we get that kind of feedback and they have a say in their lives yeah, for sure. Too. I like the chicken and biscuits. Yeah. I mean, I That's think it's, great, yeah. you know, it's home style, mm -hmm. 
this time of year it's great. You know, it's that comfort food yeah. that everybody loves and yeah, yeah. I'm a I'm a Vermont girl, born and raised in Manchester. So I definitely, uh, you know, I I do like the comfort foods for sure. Yummy.